shocking backdrop for a match of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is trying to decide which side will outfox the other. Kick off next here on EA TV. A warm welcome to you from Goodison Park, a grand old ground to play in. My name's Guy Mowbray, delighted to be joined by Sue Smith for commentary. And we've got live Premier League action for you today. It's Everton versus Manchester City. Well, thanks as always, Guy. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's been buzzing ahead of kickoff. Let's hope the football lives up to the atmosphere. This is how the hosts line up. Yeah, a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. A lot of coaches are adopting this nowadays as it does give you those two holding players while you've still got plenty of threat from the wide wingers. Hang on, Sue, they're in. The first blow of the day struck early. 1-0. Well, here's the replay, and it's an inch-perfect pass-through. Shows great awareness to set up the chance. And then through on goal, he decides to go for power. Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. And you have to say it was a good finish. So it's 1-0 as the ball gets rolling again. Ducore keeps himself in the way, well held. Just a little out with the pass. It's gone out for a throw. Alvarez. Oh, he's found touchline, not teammate. That's unfortunate. Thank you for your cooperation. McNeil. Dominic Calvert Lewin. Tarkovsky. Harrison. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. Rodri. Julian Alvarez. Good work to recover possession. Moving forward under no real pressure. And that's a shame for them, nothing doing. Ashley Young. What a chance! Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to probably stop that. Well, down by one, but they have a corner now. And the ball comes in. More defensive work to do here. And that is where the attack will end. Well, with half-time approaching, the bulk of the crowd won't be happy with how things stand. They've got work to do here. Yeah, it's been a close first half. A few things I'm sure they'll look to reflect on at half-time. Maybe a bit more movement off the ball and making sure the first to those second ball. Oh, goal here, maybe. Oh, the build-up was lovely. The way it's ended, not so good. And with that, the first half at Everton comes to an end. He's certainly had a decent game so far, or maybe better than that. I think it's fair to say he hasn't disappointed. Well, it was certainly a good 45 minutes. Obviously got the goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully see a little bit more of that in the second half.
And the game restarts. Alvarez. Promising looking attack from City and stopped in their tracks with a change in possession. How to play, throw in to come. Surely they need to play a bit higher up than they are doing here. Foden. Still not clear. Bernardo Silva. A corner now then. And a good chance to go further ahead. Short corner it is. Ruben Diaz. Diaz. Alvarez. Bernardo Silva. Akanji. Crucial defending. Oh, that's nicely done, and the goalkeeper has it. Beto Abdullah Dukore Mikolenko Vitali Mikolenko Onana The counter looks on here options available Need to get tighter here. And now it will be a city corner. <laughs> and they take a short corner. A Kanji, a nice cutback. Strong play to keep possession. Oh, chance here. We'll have to think quickly here. Vitali Mikolenko. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. Need to find a way to that late leveller, and this could be it. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Really nicely played. What can they do with this now? Rodri. Now with Foden. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day here for Everton, far from at their best, and it's three points dropped. Yeah, it was a real below-par performance from them. They never really got going, did they? They certainly need to move on quickly and pick up for the next game. Well, as we know, he can be a real handful, and he's certainly been that today. Yeah, he had a good game. He got an important goal, which gave them the lead, and you could just see how confident he was always wanting the ball and making things happen.